questions up to this point? Yeah? You want to answer my questions? Then what, what makes articulation in language conventional? Yes, please, your name. Bambi? I'm sorry? Okay, good. So articulation is based on convention. Okay, good. On, on sort of agreements about how to do things. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are some of the characteristics of the first language according to Rousseau? Uh, yes. Your your name? Uh, Scott. Scott. Okay, yeah, so it's based on passion and feeling. It has, um, it uses more um, sort of figures of speech, right? Um, it doesn't have as many articulations, right? Probably more vowels than, than consonants, right? Okay, good. I mean, he, he laid out all these, this list of things, right? And what kind of evidence does Rousseau use to justify his claims about the first language? Your name? Oh, Terry. Terry. He just kind of referred to the camels, uh, example of Arabic. Right. So he refers to existing languages that we see around us. Um, and, you know, such as Arabic and Chinese and Greek. Um, and he sees those as examples of how first languages might have been. Um, okay. And what causes language to develop from feeling to reason? <coughs> And your name again? Cynthia. Cynthia. Okay. It's more of like a natural progression after the passions calm down and the person learning Okay. Good. So it, the key is it's a natural progression that that just kind of happens by itself, and so therefore nobody had to teach humans language. Yeah. Um, and it's a natural progression because of this um, natural kind of movement from emotion and passion to um, you know sober reason. All right.